Alright, today we are going to start with tutorial 3 of linear programming and we are going to continue exactly from where we stopped in tutorial 2. So uh, I will encourage you to take uh, tutorial 1 and 2 so that you'll be up to speed with what we are doing here. So this is where we stopped. I'm going to move to this place. So we actually able to use the table given. This table is normally given or sometimes you actually form this table from a word problem and then you uh, create the cost function which we actually created here. This is a cost function and then we are able to create this three constraints. So we are now uh, set to solve this problem to determine the, the, the solution. All right. So, but one thing I want to let you observe is that if you look at this place, we have how many variables? One, two, three, four, five. And solving the uh, equation in five variables uh, will be kind of a pain. So I think it's better for us to just use two variables and solve this equation, and then we can uh, understand how it works. So permit me that I'm going to truncate a, a kind of cut down uh, this variable into two, uh, maybe using only a and b, only a and b uh, from this place, All right? So I'm going to now move to the next page so that we'll write this uh, uh, equation, this uh, function, and this constraint in just two variables. So that would be something that is really going to make it easy for us to, to work. All right, so uh, let me just write it down using two, two variables. Uh, let's use A and B. So the cost function will now be a function of A and B which will now be a right tell because I already wrote it before now, 8a plus 10b. So to write the constraints, you can just say subject to, so the, cons the first constraint, writing it in just two variables, we have, um, we have 0 0.4, a plus 1.2 b is what is greater than or equal to 70. So if you want, you can pause the video and take a look at, at this uh, previous one. If you like to, if you like to have this presentation, leave me a comment and tell me if you like it. Maybe you can leave me your email address. I'll I'll be able to send this presentation to you. All right, let's continue. So take your pen. So the next one says, um, the next one says 6a plus 10b, 6a plus 10b is greater than I equal to what? 50. The next one says, 0.4a plus what? Plus 6b plus 0.6b. I'll write. I would like to recommend you take a pen and a paper and write along because that is the only way your brain will be active and you'll be able to learn very easily. So don't just watch. Uh, pause the video. Take a pen and a paper and write along. I'll actually take it very easy so that everyone can follow along in this class. So this will be greater than or equal to 12. All right, so these are our constraints. These are our constraints. So these are constraints. This is our, our what? Cost, cost what? Cost function. All right. So at this point, we are trying to minimize uh, this cost function, right? So well, one thing I would like us to do is to um, also 
draw out the table as before. So uh, the, the first the first one is food. So we have our um, so we're only using two foods, apples and banana. Remember we use the names of this fruit as as our A and B, so um let's just so so at this point I'll leave all the units, so I'll just say protein, let's call it PR, vitamin and ion. And then I'm going to close it up and I'm going to write the price. Okay, that is fine. So I'm going to close this as well. So um so for protein we have 0 0.4, vitamin we have 1.2, we have it's 1.2, no, I, I think I got it wrong. So vitamin should be So let me take back my pain. So a white pain there. Okay, so vitamin here is uh, six, and ion is what is a uh, is zero point four as well. So for banana we have one point two, we have ten, and we have zero point six, and here we have. 70, we have 50 and 12. So for the price, we have 8 and 10. I hope it's clear. So how do we solve this problem? We are going to solve this problem using a method called the graphing. The graphing method is very easy to use. So we are going to go through the graphing method together and to see that this problem we can easily solve it. Okay, we are forgetting one constraint that says A and B should be greater than or equal to zero. So actually four constraints. Well, there are four of them. So using the graphing method says that you graph uh, all these constraints and then uh, reach a conclusion. So let's graph the first constraint that says A and B is greater than or equal to zero. So this one, so let's draw this. So this, uh, let's call this our, our A and let's call this B, right? Good. So when we consider A, B, uh, a and B is greater than zero, what part of this graph are we considering? So we are considering only uh, the above or the positive parts. So this represents constraint one. So this is called C1, let's call this C2, let's call this C3, and let's call this C4, right? So this constraint C1. So let's go to constraint C2 and see how it goes. So have A and have B. And we are considering constraint C2. So at this point, we are trying to check uh, 6A plus 10B is greater than or equal to 50, right? So, so 6A. plus 10b is greater than or equal to 50. So to be able to get, uh, to solve this or to graph this, we need to find the intercept of this equation on both axes, right? So to find the intercepts on the b axis, what do we do? So what we are going to do is to set, if we want to find the intercept of, of the, on the B axis, we set B to be equal to, uh, to be, to set A to be zero, right? So if we set A to be zero, A becomes uh, zero, 
and then we can find the value of b, right? So if we set a to be 0, so a disappears. So we have 10b is greater than or equal to 50, and that will give us b to be what? 50 over 10. So we'll have, let's say, 5. All right, so in the same way, you set b to be 0. So what we'll have is 6a plus 10b is greater than or equal to 50. So when we set b to be 0, if we set b to be 0, so what we are going to have here is, uh, is what? We have 0. And a will now be, a will be equal to 5 over 6, right? Good. So a is going to be 5 over 6. If I'm not, okay, this is 50. Okay, so actually 50 over 6 gives us what? Okay, uh, I think I'm getting it wrong. So this is 70. So 70 over 6. 70 over 6. Good. So this case will be... Um, if we set B to be 0, then we have... Right? We set B to be 0. So we have 70 over 6 here. Oh, sorry, we are uh, making some mistakes. All right. Um, okay, so no, 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 this is not working. So actually, I'm going to erase this. I'm, I, I'm using the, this should be 0 0.48 plus 1.2 V is less than or equal to 70. Because actually I did for C1, so what I'm going to do to avoid uh, complicating matters uh, more, I'm going to po uh, stop this video and clean up and then we continue in tutorial 4. But what I'd like to tell you is that maybe try to solve these this, uh, equations out using this method and then uh, we continue in tutorial 4. I'd like to still thank you for viewing. But before I go, let me just change this. This is constraint C4 that we plotted here. So here we are going to start with C1. So let's go over to tutorial 4.